From PayPal's game-changing moves to Telegram's massive crypto integration, the Web3 world has been buzzing this week. Now, do you want to stay ahead of the curve? Because you are in the right place. Hello and welcome to our Crypto Weekly Wrap, where we talk about the top updates from the crypto ecosystem every week. Stay tuned as we dive right into the updates for this week. Starting this week's update with PayPal, the payments giant has launched an off-ramp service which allows users to convert their crypto tokens to USD. This is now live on MetaMask for US users only. However, with this move, PayPal strengthens its position in the crypto ecosystem by offering more flexibility and security to users. Franklin Templeton, a name synonymous with asset management, has decided to throw its hat into the Bitcoin ETF fray. It has joined the likes of BlackRock at Fidelity by filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF application. With more and more institutions growing interested in crypto, the future of spot Bitcoin ETFs look quite promising. MetaMask, the most popular Web3 wallet, is not just about Ethereum anymore. They have launched Snap, which is a feature that makes compatibility with non-EVM blockchains possible. This means developers and users can enjoy greater interoperability by seamlessly integrating with blockchains such as Solana and Bitcoin. With 34 snaps ready at launch, MetaMask is truly redefining its boundaries. Telegram has incorporated a self-custodial wallet based on the open network for its 800 million plus active users. The wallet brings digital ownership on blockchain to the messaging application and will be available for all Telegram wallet users. For users outside the US, this feature will be available by November. And that's a wrap for our highlight this week. I hope you found this insightful and hope this has enhanced your information about the crypto ecosystem, which is rapidly evolving. Needless to say, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also stay tuned for more updates coming your way next week.